Welcome to the Trop House, your good girlfriend, Tropicana, kicking it off. I'm so excited because this is ultimately probably the most exciting time that I have ever experienced here in Cincinnati. And I mean, there's nobody else that I could talk to about this than, I mean, the experts and the most memorable figure that I can think of when I remember Cincinnati football at a time like this where whole nation is going crazy. So Ladies, gentlemen, friends, family, Pac-Man Jones is here with us inside the Trop House. What's up, Pac-Man? What, what's up? Thanks for having me. What's going How you on? Doing? I'm doing good. I can't complain. It's a good day to be a Bengals so, fan, huh? Ain't it, though? Like, who day? It's a good day for them. Now, and for me as well, I'm so excited, one, to have you here in the Trop House with me. This is exciting to see you. Um, you were kind of on my bucket list people that I wanted to talk to before uh, I left the city when they told me I was coming here. So I'm super excited to have this opportunity to to have you here. No problem. No problem. Thanks for having me. So, of course, you know, we just got to get straight to it. You know why we talking here today. Um, Huda Nation has made a, a huge, huge advancement. They are now the AFC champs. And that's amazing to see after over 30 years since we've, we've seen the championship here. Um, as, a, as a former player on the team, how does that feel? Man, it's, it's, first of all, it's good for the city. Kudos to the guys that's putting in the hard work right now. Um, it's hard. It's hard to be. Um, AFC champs, it's hard to get to the Super Bowl. So uh, they come with a lot of hard work. You know, it's not something that happened overnight. Those guys over there have done a good job of buying into the system, playing together. And the coaches have done a great job too. But for the city, this is great, man. I think we needed this. Um, this is the second biggest thing I've seen here in person um, besides uh, all-star baseball when we had the all-star game here. Um, the city is electrifying right now. It's, 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 it's what's happening. And um, everybody's smiling. You know, you go to the, yeah. to the store, the Walmart, the Kroger, everybody's happy right now because we're winning. Um, yeah. So that's always good. That's a good time. And I think that's good for the city. So do you have any predictions for the big game? Uh, I think the big ones win. Um, I think our X factor is uh, the kicker, McPherson. Uh, for people that don't know, he scored 12 points per game in wow. the last three playoff games. And that's like saying that you're going to get a punt return basically every game, um, which is if you can do that every game, you can win. Anytime you can win the, the special team battle and outscore people, uh, that's a big plus, you know. So basically, if let's just say some happen, we get a first down over the 50 yard line, you know, you got points. Um, yeah. which means you only need three, four, three first downs, basically, um, if you start on the 20-yard line. Three, four, four, three first downs will get you points, which you guarantee three points, which everybody don't have the kicker that we have. Um, he, he was a, a great addition this year, a great draft pick by uh, the guys over there with the Bengals. You know, a lot of, kick, a lot of kickers never get the opportunity to get drafted in the first three rounds. This kid was drafted in the second round. Um, the Bengals have a history of doing that also because they did the same thing with Mike Nugent. But this kid, McPherson, is the real deal. He's the real deal. Now, that's a big deal if you saying that about him. Yeah, because, you know, um, pe kickers can win or lose the game. It's either a plus or a minus. You know what I mean? And I think he broke – I don't know what record he just broke. But um, I'm a special team guy. I need. I should know this right now, but I'm gonna look it up. But I know he he broke at least the consecutive kicks without missing in the playoffs. Um, he haven't missed a kick in the playoffs wow. yet. Um, that's awesome. He, he's very. How forward. often do we even see stuff like that? How often do we have like? Went out on me. We got a freeze. You got a freeze. I think she froze. Sub Zero got her. Let me hit her real quick. I don't think she realized she froze. And that's why we do pre record. Thank you, God. I was wondering if that was us because we do have this Radio One um, internet in the studio. 
is <laughs> put together with duct tape. So, you know, we do our best. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're going to chop and screw this portion and put it together. I think the last question you said was how often do something. And then you do we see that with a kicker? How often do we see a kicker that has that type of success um, consistently? Um, you really don't. You know, you catch one like uh, Vinitarian was one of those guys. Um, you catch one every blue moon, but it's hard to get good, consistent kickers. Um, besides the guy from the Ravens, which will, will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Um, no. Pac-Man, Jim Burrow got the whole city and everybody for sure in the suburbs wearing Cartier glasses and walking around with their chain, they Tom Cruise haircuts. Like he is like quickly becoming like the new cool staple. What are your thoughts on him? I think he is the cool staple. He come from a lot of sauce, uh, being in L being at LSU. Um, if you can go back and look at some of those videos, you know he walked with swag. He carried himself with swag. So um, he do got sauce. He got he got sauce. He got a lot of sauce. And I think that that was necessary. I feel like it was needed. Like it brings not that Cincinnati ain't always been cool because it has always been cool, but it just kind of brings it into like a new generation of cool boys. I don't know if I have seen all of these little boys in the suburbs with Cartier's on before. I think I think um, the mode and the, the change of the players, um, like we kind of help create, um, let the players be the players. Stop trying to get the players to be these, you know, stuff coat guys, which uh, Mr. Brown is a guy that kind of lets you be yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, so I think um, they did a good job with getting guys that, it, it, look at them. Chase got, he got sauce. Um, you go down the line of the guys they, they, they've drafted the last four or five years. The kicker, McPherson, he got sauce. Um, these guys are used to winning. And um, I think that goes a long way with saying how good Duke Tobin did in the front office with drafting all of those guys. But um, I love it, man. I love, I love the sauce. I prefer my quarterback to have an attitude. I prefer him to have a swagger. Um, because nine times out of ten, when you have an attitude and a swag, um, it carries over on the field. Well, one thing for sure that I want to say about you is that you you kind of are the beginning of bringing that into into football. Like you are a, a fan favorite. You are one of my one of my favorite players to have watched over the years. Um, and that's hard for me to say coming from Cleveland and being. Um, I'm not even going to talk about them because they're not important. But coming uh -huh. from Cleveland. So you already know what part of the AFC I had been cheering for uh, yeah. there. So it's exciting, one, to see that coming from here, but also seeing that legacy that you guys kind of created of ushering that into football, making it fun to watch for not your everyday average football fan. Y'all made it exciting. So it, it's cool to see those imprints that you have began and have left um, become a legacy for the Bengals. I appreciate you so much for uh, – coming into the trap house today and spending time with us um before we wrap this what do you think a, a win for that big game would look like for the city of cincinnati how do you think that that would change the culture here in the city oh i think it'll change it a lot um and it would bring more business to the city um more advertisement more money for the whole city so i'm not a now i am a number man so you know i'm Somebody told me that if you win the Super Bowl, that the owners get over five hundred million dollars. So I'm, I'm okay. quite sure. Because is it too late for me to go learn how to play football? I Did I miss, I miss the season. I got a five year old. I need to go get him started now. Thinking this is a billion dollar day for the owners. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. the city, this would be really good, man. Uh, more merchandise, more more signing for the guys, uh, more backing. Um, for the city as far as back in the team. I um, mean, it's a lot of people that have been here back in the Bengals for a long time yeah. and been waiting for this moment, man. So it's always great to see some of these guys that's 70 years old, you know, they've just been waiting for this moment. And, and, and they finally get it, you know, before something happened or whatever happened to them. So I'm happy yeah. that a lot of guys are getting what they want, especially the older generation that's been sticking with the yeah. Bengals through thick and thin, you know. There are some diehard fans here, and 
And I feel like that as a fan of Ohio sports, there's a level of loyalty that you just have to have. Like there is no, it ain't about if we win or lose. It's about how loyal you are to your team and just seeing it through and always kind of being hopeful. So for me, I'm so excited to see my friends and the fans and just this moment of hope of people saying, I believe that we can make it and them having an opportunity to see that hope come true. This is so awesome. Um, over the weekend, uh, when they won the game this weekend, I was speaking to one of the bus drivers, the local bus drivers here in the city. He said that everybody was on the bus watching the game on their phone. And one lady, when he scored that uh, the field goal, that she said she got up. She was like, I'm from Compton, California. And the whole bus jumped her. This is just <laughs> 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 well, baby. They from over the line over here. here. This ain't the time, baby. Have a seat. Right. So this is an exciting day for Hootay Nation. And I just appreciate you taking the time to join us today. We got to get you back yeah. in here. Yeah, I'm going no to break some, have to break some rules and get you snuck in the studio. We need you in here hosting with us. No problem. Let me know anytime. Peg man, you not hosting a, a watch party or something big? Oh, I am. I am hosting a watch party. And I'm going to let you know probably today or tomorrow. Um, I'm actually having two, but um, I got to finish crossing the T's and dotting the I's. But it's going to be epic. And um, I'm looking at somewhere right here downtown in Cincinnati. Or you could just hop over right across the street. I don't want to say the name yet, but I'll, okay. I'll, let me, no I'll let me know first, and maybe we can we can talk about it here. We can make it be a thing. All right, let's do that. Let's make it be a thing. I would love to see that happen. Pac Man, you enjoy the rest of your day, and of course, you already know us who they nation over here. That's crazy for me to say that. Y'all gonna beat me up at the house, but it's cool because I got a new home now. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 hey, look, as long as y'all got Baker Mayfield, you don't want to be up there anyway. We we cool. We all right. We're gonna make it work. Yeah. I got a team here for it. No, appreciate <laughs> yeah. you, man. Have a wonderful day. You too. All right, Jay. Do y'all need anything else?